Welcome to another episode of Raul's World of Sense. I am Raul. Today we'll be going over the basic features of the A137 voltage controlled wave multiplier. As the name suggests, the module multiplies the incoming waveform within one period. Some also refer to this process as wave folding. It allows for the adding of harmonics without altering the pitch of your incoming signal. As we will see in some of the upcoming sound demos, audio with few harmonics is going to work best, but of course you can always use any other sounds you like with varying results. If you've glanced at the manual for the A137, there is reference to this module acting as an inverse low-pass filter. And one way to look at it is since a low-pass filter subtracts harmonics and this module adds harmonics, uh, you can kind of look at it as doing the reverse of what the low-pass filter does. Um, now, let's go ahead and look at the front panel. On the bottom left is our standard audio input with attenuator right next to it for controlling the level of the incoming signal. Over on the right is the final output. There are four manual controls right here that are going to control the wave folding parameters. Each are also controllable via CV over here in this section, and each has their own attenuator right there. And those allow you to control the incoming CV. So if you want you know, very little of your incoming CV at that input, you can bring that down. Or if you want the maximum, you can bring it all the way up. And that principle kind of applies to all four of those here. Um, if this is the first video in the Dofer uh, sort of Rouse world of sense, uh, then that is kind of meant to kind of explain how these work. Uh, but if you've been watching some of the other videos, then this concept is kind of just a little bit of review. Now let's talk about the parameters that are over here on the right-hand side. Starting at the top right there, uh, this is called the multiples parameter right here. This is going to increase or decrease the number of waveform multiplications. A total of eight foldings is possible in the A137, four at the upper clipping level and four at the lower clipping level. The next control labeled folding level right here determines the distance between the upper and the lower folding levels. Folding symmetry, which is right here, allows for the adjusting of the position of both the upper and lower folding levels in reference to the zero line. At the very bottom is our last control that we're going to be talking about today, and it's called harmonics, as you can see right there. This is going to sharpen the waveform slopes of the incoming audio. It acts similar to a resonance emphasis control in a filter. And as we will hear later on, we'll kind of hear how that will affect our incoming sound. As we stated before, each of the parameters mentioned can be controllable via CV right here. And in some of the upcoming demos, we're going to be taking a look at that and hearing what that sounds like. One final note about the A137 is that it is DC coupled, which means that it can actually modify both control voltages or audio rate signals. That about does it for the Dofer A137 wave multiplier basics. Join us in the next segment where we'll get a closer look at its effects on waveforms and hear some of the sound examples that we have in store. Thanks for watching.